I'm Tony Holly, head coach at Meridian Volleyball. Get in there, Maverick. You can't leave him. Come on, Maverick. What the hell are you doing? Talk to Maverick, me, get in there for Christ's sake. Ice is in trouble. Talk He's got to no me, cover. Goose. Get in there, Maverick. You won't last down there alone. Get in the fight for Christ's sake. All right, another week of Talk to Me, Goose, and we go back to chat a little volleyball and. Uh, the man this week is Meridian Volleyball Coach Tony Holly. Tell me about the beginning for you, Coach. Well, I started uh, 20 years ago in Bloomington, Illinois, and at the time that was the thing you did. I was a former player and looking for a new place and got my first JV job at University High, and the careers continued since then, and now I'm here in uh, Macon, Illinois, coaching. I started in Decatur, actually. I didn't have a boys' team, so played in leagues with adults. And by the time I left, I went to ISU and played on the men's team there. I knew I wasn't going to go play any place after college at that point. I wasn't going to grow anymore. <laughs> um, and uh, somebody introduced me to helping out their team, and I decided this was something I really enjoyed. And it's 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 been a good segue. I had a short short college career, and now I've been coaching for 20 years, so I'm really enjoying it. Uh, my first job, I got paid $500. Uh, she said, this is it. There's no more after this, but this you can put on your resume and you can go find your, your next job, and I did. Milliken's 15th in the nation. What is it about Coach Kick that just makes us such a dominant program? Uh, she is a student of the game. She never stops learning. She constantly is researching and finding new methods, and she evolves with it. I don't think the game is ever going to outgrow Coach Kick. I think I was looking for a program to run on my own, and you know, I wanted to take some of the knowledge I had at Milliken. I don't think the plan was ever for me personally to uh, stay on as assistant coach. I looked in some head coaching positions in other places, uh, but my family's here in Decatur, so I really enjoyed the chance to stay here. And when some parents came looking for me, um, gave me a chance to go get back in the high school ranks. Uh, you look at some of the programs in our conference who their win-loss records aren't blow anybody away, but you look at where they're at in the conference, uh, you look at the competition they're facing, and that's the one big thing I've noticed in Central Illinois is you know, everybody's competitive on a given night, somebody can take you out. So the IHSA seedings came out today, and looking at all the other teams, we're kind of all in the same boat. We're all looking at records that nobody's a 20-plus win team right now, but by the end of the season, you're going to see a lot of numbers go up, and you're going to see people who are ready for the postseason. We've got uh, five seniors, including uh, J.C. Hill, uh, Haley Durbin, who's out with a shoulder injury for the season. We're going to lose her, and we're missing her a lot right now. Uh, we've got uh, Abby Herbert, who's our last of the Herbert family, playing with us, and she's a returning player. Uh, we've got Georgia from uh, Italy, and uh, her, her last name I haven't even mastered yet, but uh, she's been a nice little addition for us, so we're, we're happy to have that. Uh, we've got Megan Hill, who's been coming in and playing some front row and some back row for us. And uh, J.C. Hill, who is our returning setter. Uh, she's another senior, and she's leading the offense for us this year and doing a great job. Going back to probably Milliken. Uh, my first pink game I was involved with was with Debbie Kick and later Lori Kearns. And seeing that and what they put together really inspired me that I said, when I get into my own program, it's something where I continue. So this will be my fifth year doing it um, as a high school coach. I've lost a childhood friend from breast cancer. Um, I've had some family members that are actually cancer survivors. So I'm fortunate to be able to do this as a platform and uh, hopefully we can find a cure someday. Tonight is going to be our, our third annual Dig Pink game. Uh, we're joining up with Central A&M. Um, we're fundraising at the game. Um, we've got a cake raffle going on. We've got some raffle baskets, some great prizes. We've had donations from uh, the U of I volleyball team and their program. Um, from USA Volleyball in Colorado, we've got a, a jersey from one of the national team players we're going to raffle off. And we're going to hopefully have a competitive game, and we've got, we're going to debut our pink uniforms. The one thing about volleyball, especially the way it's played now, is perseverance is key. So we run a drill where there's, I just keep tossing balls until a ball hits the ground, and they may get five, ten balls in a row. Uh, they have to successfully defend those balls and send them back over. Uh, so it, it can be a breaker. I always tease the girls and say, you know, friendships can be lost in this. <laughs> you start yelling at each other and start a little sniping. Uh, but it's really to build them up and be mentally strong and just ready for the for competition because life throws a lot at you. So it, it helps us get prepared for a, a fast-paced game. It also helps us prepare to become mentally stronger. Mavericks re-engaging, sir. Check back next week for another Talk to Me Goose at nowdecatur.com. <laughs>